Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a terrific weekend. After last week's video where I looked at a custom scan uh, using Thinkorswim, it made sense to me today to kind of go into how you could take that trade you, you find, how you could look at that on the Toss Analyze tab and get a better understanding or a better idea of the probability that that trade is going to work out. I'm, as options traders, we're always trying to get, if we're, if we're going short an option, we always want to get as much premium as we can, but with the highest probability as we can. If we're going long an option, we want to pay as little as we can, but get the best, uh, best possible chance of success. So understanding probability and using probability is something we're doing on a daily basis. So I thought it made sense to take a look at standard deviation on the toss analyze tab. I think it gives a much better picture of what the probability of an options trade working out is than just using the standard, what we normally do, set the slices to break even, see the probability of profit or probability of success and then move on. And so with that, I wanted to take a look at a trade in Nike and uh, we're going to uncover what standard deviation can tell us about this particular trade. So let's go and take a look. So I've got Nike pulled up here. Just looking at it, I don't want to spend a lot of time in this video talking about how to analyze the chart. I think I've done that in many videos. But for today, I wanted to just look at where I thought price might go. And so what I have to decide is what trade do I want to take. In my opinion, and I'm not suggesting you share this opinion, in my opinion, I feel like there's a little bit of bearishness in the market. I want to get a little bit bearish and Nike, you can see, has already been in a little bit of a downtrend. So just looking at the expected move, which is kind of highlighted by these, these gray dashed lines here, just, just looking at those is where price is expected to stay within this range for this upcoming week. So just looking at that, it looks like it's at about 113. So if I wanted to set up a trade around 113, I could sell the vertical, which I would normally do. I would feel okay about 35 cents. I'd want to go and analyze that trade and get a get an idea of what my probability. So normally what we do, we come over there, we set the slices to break even. But when we look at this, we see a 63% chance, but really the only the only space we have between where we are now and where we start losing money or where we will lose money at expiration is about that far. I mean, just not a lot. Tab, you know this gray shaded region is one standard deviation. Price is generally going to trade within that range. In this instance, over the course of the next month, this is the standard deviation move. So we've got this whole area here. Meanwhile, we've got this one small section that mathematically is a 63% chance. Logically, we can look at that and I think we would all agree that's not a 63% chance. Just looking at this with human eyes, we can say that that's about a 20 to a 30% chance that this trade is going to work out. And we just have to basically get directionally right, which is normally the case. But if we're looking at this from a probability standpoint, we can use what's built into Thinkorswim here. Instead of setting slices to break even, we can set it using the standard deviation, the two standard deviation, just to give me a little better view. I've already got the one standard deviation there with the, the shaded region, just to get a better view of what is most likely to happen with this trade. There's a 95% chance that Nike is going to trade between 87 and 136 over the, the course of the next month. And so with that information, do we really feel like this gives us the best chance for success? You have to make that decision for yourself, but I don't. So looking at it in that light, I, I, at minimum, I would say we would want to trade somewhere near the edge of this one standard deviation channel. If at all possible, we'd love to be over here near this two standard deviation line, but then there may not be any premium available there. So let's just see how far we can go and still find some acceptable premium. Well, the first thing that you're going to notice is that the price, uh, prices go from a dollar wide to five dollars wide so if you if you were dead set on keeping it a dollar wide the most you could do would be 124 and there's not a lot of credit there in fact the the spread is five cents to 11 cents but if we analyze that trade and now we set the slices to break even we've got an 87 percent chance that this trade is going to work out so you may not get you may not even get the 11 cents but you've got a much better chance and we can just see looking at this logically we can see now a while ago we had this small area here now we have all this extra space to play with that's that's basically three times the chance that this trade is going to work out in our favor again directionally the market can do whatever it's going to do so there's no guarantee but looking at it just from a probability standpoint using the standard deviations to our advantage to kind of understand what is the chance that this this trade is going to work out it's a 95 percent chance that price finishes inside of there so if you're able to set up a trade like we did here and get 11 cents 
To me, I feel much more comfortable taking this trade. Even though I'm not collecting quite the credit, I feel a lot more comfortable taking this trade. And then you can always manage it at a certain point. But just in terms of probability, using the standard deviation on the Toss Analyze tab can give you a much better picture or a much better view of what's possible with your trades. Instead of just setting the slices to break even and looking at it that way, get a wider view of what's possible with your trade. As you know, we had that small section and now we have this whole large section here to play with. Just makes sense that it's going to work out uh, more often than not. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this all made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to reach me in the comments. If you think this is idiotic and you don't think this will ever work, you can let me know that in the comments as well. But guys, thank you so much. Until the next video, God bless and take care.